Hello. Um, yeah, uh, I figure do a follow up on this toilet seat. So neat thing if it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Usually it does. Take a second. Lights up. That's pretty fucking cool. I like it. It's really bright too. Just super nice. Uh, functionality of it. I'll show you quick here. Get a remote. You just shove your finger in there, rip the back off, shove the batteries in. You feel like you might break it, you're not gonna. Um, okay, so you can hear. It sense, senses your bum, skin, contact. So, remote, bidet mode. If you watched my other video, you may have already seen it. So, it does self-clean, and it actually has done a very good job of keeping itself clean. You can obviously adjust temperature of the water, and I can tell you from firsthand experience, it like you might get maybe one second of cold, but if you hit temp before you hit bidet or bidet, or bidet yeah, bidet, having a brain fart here, you won't have an issue. Um, you can change it to massage mode, which kicks her up. You can hit swing. It does all sorts of cool stuff. Now one thing it also does, you see it sprays water all over itself, cleans itself up. And in case you're like, oh my god, all the poo speckles, that's actually from a bong and it's just not coming off nice, even with the fucking scrubber she didn't come off. Anyways, not why you're here. Um, it's got a dryer in there, and you can turn up the temperature on the dry, which is nice. Um, just from experience as a guy with a little bit of forestry down there, let's say. It takes about two runs of the air dry to get it clean. But as you can see, I don't even have, I don't even fucking have toilet paper. I didn't re replace it. I actually haven't <laughs> haven't really felt it to be necessary since I got this thing. It actually does that good a job. Um yeah, not much to say about that. Oh, the seat war is warm, and uh, if you put it on three, which I usually do, it's fucking an absolute delight. Um, it does have a deodorizer mode that just activates when you're sitting on it, so it's supposed to take away the scent. I have no idea how that works. There's no filters. There's no nothing, but it seems to be fine. Um, I'll show you my only real gripes with the thing. Um, so, let's see, um, see, see how it's designed here? Uh, no, focus on that. So, unless you get, like, a toothbrush, it's a little hard to get into the seam that runs around it. As a woman, I think you're gonna have less of a problem. As a fella, I mean... I know women probably just say, fucking lift the seat, just fucking lift the seat. Well, if you don't remember to lift the seat, and let's say your aim isn't immaculate, it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, otherwise, no real complaints. Um, hopefully not too grimy for you guys, but I'm going to pop it up and just show you. It does seem to accumulate for me about there. But, I mean, it's nothing serious. There's no other spots that it really gets hard, and it's pretty easy to clean otherwise. The only thing I can see being a real issue is the buttons. The buttons could get pretty grimy, but I mean, I've never cleaned them and that's the state of them after, fuck, I don't know, I've had this thing for two, three months. But yeah, I mean, super quick review and opinion after all the months of having it. Yeah, fucking right, it, it, was, it was a great purchase. Uh, one hundo P, I'm all about the bidet. So, get your toilet. Go take your throne and take it to the LED world of butt heaven. Sit down and get a nice warm massage. And enjoy yourself the luxury of heated water to your rectum. Something you never thought would be nice. Oh, just a tease. That's because it's for bums, not for feet. Anyways, a good day to all. That should be a quicker, nice little summary instead of that 27-minute video where I get blasted in the bum and I don't think anybody wants to see that. <laughs>
All right, take it easy.